Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 21. This week, I'll be measuring the actual lag introduced by a wireless flash trigger. I have the Yongnu RF603C, and last week I went over how I tried to hook this up to the camera axe, and I made some modifications, and in the end it didn't work. The trigger voltage was too low uh, to trigger the camera axe, which is uh, a good reason not to use this one with the camera axe. But my thought process is, as long as I have this one on hand, I might as well measure how much lag is actually introduced by this wireless flash trigger system. And, you know, it's likely that a bunch of the other wireless flash triggering systems out there will add a similar amount of delay. And, you know, knowing how much delay is added will let me realize whether this is a practical solution to uh, high-speed photography. Uh, because when I have the wired connection, which is what I use today, uh, I get instant response, which is great, but it's kind of a hassle to have all those extra wires uh, running around the room. It would be really nice to be able to use one of these wireless transmitting systems. Uh, however, I am a bit concerned about the amount of lag they may introduce, and for really high-speed shots, uh, I'm not sure if they're going to work or not. So what I'm going to do this week is I'll measure that lag, and then we'll sort of figure out whether... For this particular unit, uh, it would be fast enough for some really high-speed photography. So setting up this system was a little trickier than I thought. I had to set up a few trigger wires here to probe the internals for the voltages that I'm looking for. And then I had to hook up a bunch of different external wires to the receiver over here to detect when the flash is being activated. So when I push the uh, shutter button here, everything gets triggered. And then on the oscilloscope, we have channel 1 and channel 2. So channel 1 is the voltage coming uh, from the transmitter here. And we can see that that's dropping voltage, which is what I expected after analyzing the circuit. And then over here on the receiver, we also see its voltage is dropping as expected. So what I did was I measured the distance between these two voltage drops which turns out to be about 1.4 milliseconds and that is uh, acceptable it's not really great it's not uh, really bad but it's kind of middle of the road kind of what I was expecting perhaps a bigger issue than that uh, 1.4 milliseconds of lag though is that I'm measuring around a 0.1 millisecond variance from trigger to trigger. So while that's a lot smaller than 1.4 milliseconds, uh, it is uh, more critical because that's an unpredictable delay. So you're, you're going to be changing from shot to shot by 0.1 milliseconds. And you know, these two lags, or the lag and the variance, aren't critical for sort of medium speed photography like water droplets. I think that, you know, this kind of a system would work great in that case. However, for really high speed photography things like, uh, say, a pellet out of a gun shooting maybe a thousand feet per second, that's about what my pellet gun shoots them at, this is going to be a real problem. During that 1.4 milliseconds, the bullet will travel 17 inches so you might be able to account for that uh, if it was a consistent 17 inches however with that 0.1 millisecond variance that's going to equate to 1.2 inches of extra travel and you're just not going to be able to really nail down where that pellet is so i think for high speed photography like pellet guns you're really not going to be able to use at least this wireless flash triggering system and get really great results. You're going to want to stick with the wires. I'll uh, perhaps investigate some other flat wireless flash triggering systems in the future, or if anybody has a suggestion on one that has really low lag, I'd be interested in that. But, you know, this can be used for some, you know, high-speed photography like water droplets, but other really time-critical, high-moving, high-velocity uh, projectiles and things, it's just not going to be fast enough and there's going to be too much variance from one shot to another. Thanks for watching.